back to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is it's full time MMA John Jones delivering more oblique kicks to our hearts with another inspirational starting again video the uh, under that video he also posted uh, he posted that yesterday it was happy Halloween he said hashtag day one hashtag pick yourself up and start again hashtag gold going for the gold or some shit like that like damn man John Jones is coming out and I don't know if he got some good news or I don't I don't think that's the case I'm if if John Jones I think had any developing news with USADA like I, I don't even know when that's coming out I mean we seen the US most recent the latest developments have been the USADA agents talking about well not agents <laughs> like they're fucking the feds or something had like uh, Jeff Nowinski came out and he was on Bruce Buffer's podcast and he was talking about how they were looking in and trying to you know help uh, John Jones was assisting them they were assisting John Jones and seeing what really happened because it didn't really all make sense and if John Jones could prove that it was he had no fault you know he could have no as little as no suspension now that's not very likely but it is a possibility and John Jones is on social media and he's been posting inspirational emotional ass videos lately and that was one of them but in promotion for UFC 217 Madison Square Garden coming up in a few days Michael Bisping versus George St. Pierre Dana White's also doing rounds of interviews and in a late in one of his most one of his latest interviews Dana White has called John Jones unfixable it was on the Jim Rome show specifically so he was asked questions and this is what he had to say I don't know he's just not an about the money type of guy he's really not that kind of guy I just think that John likes to party and he's a guy that likes to go out and have fun and do whatever it is that he does and I think the money and the fame made it a thousand times worse this guy couldn't control himself and would completely go off the deep end I'm not sitting here acting like mister holier than thou we've all gone and had fun and probably partied a little too much here and there but he consistently consistently kept doing it even when he would completely fuck up, he would pull himself together and come out and completely fuck up again. Even this last time when he came back, fans forgave him, he was the most popular fighter, and everybody wanted to see this guy succeed, and he did it again. It's just unbelievable. Um, and we all know John Jones is now facing another suspension. We've already talked about that. Dana White continued. He said... Even worse than that, this guy was looking at jail time. The judge gave him another shot and the guy was looking at some serious jail time and a lot of bad stuff and it still didn't wake him up. If that's not a wake up call, you're unfixable. So, I mean, it is what it is. And I, I, I know like, I, I'm kind of joking a little bit like with these oblique kicks to the heart, like it could because the video was actually really well edited, especially that one earlier, you know, with all the still pictures and John Jones and all the sentimental memories and, you know, before the 214 fight, whenever we had that feeling, you know, before the USADA test, that video would have got a real lot, you know, would that, that video would have got real, real, real quick if at the very end, you know, the music would have changed from that happy ass music to like a dun dun and then like had Jeff Nowitzki dun dun, then it had like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying afterwards, <laughs> like, but, um, so, all right. That, I think I've said enough on this video. Dana White's calling John Jones unfixable. Let me know what you think about this in the comments, man. It is what it is. Let the full time family. I already said that shit. I'm out. Bye, Felicia.